Hey, welcome to Palace Antics. In this video, we'll look at the Volvo. She goes off to be welded at uh, Autofab and then off to the paint shop to get some paint. Please like and subscribe if you like this stuff. Just click that little subscribe button. Check it out. Here she is, over at Autofab, ready to get all her uh, welding done. Uh, as usual, this stuff tends to escalate. There's a bit more rot underneath everything, under the bumpers, in the rear quarters, than we thought. Uh, so we decided to strip the front end down to access stuff a bit more. And then we found that the uh, the front cross member was hiding quite a bit of, of rot. You can see in this picture the uh, bottom of the leg bumper horn, and that's the where the cross member covers it. So I started cutting all that out, and you can uh, there's the new one I managed to pick up in England in stock. Happy days! So it's just a matter of removing all the old dead material, templating it, and. Uh, remaking a whole new one he did an absolutely amazing job shout out to him check him out on social media I'll put a link in the description below uh, if you ever need some welding work done based on Paul Dorset obviously there you go all cleaned off looking and all cut out new metal happy days Obviously the new panel didn't fit quite properly as they never do, so that took a little bit of tweaking. And there it is, new cross member. How do's? Right. Well, having a bit of a paint nightmare. So, Volvo's in the paint shop. Uh, all the bodywork's done, all the welding's done, it's all ready. Took the paint code off the VIN number, sent it to the paint shop, uh, and came back and they paint shop painted it. Went to have a look at it, completely the wrong colour. Like, completely. I'll show you the chips in a sec. So we got a spectrid, put a machine on it, which reads the paint. Again, had that mixed, sprayed a bit, completely wrong color. For some reason, no one can match this brown. Uh, I know there's a slight shade variant from my code, which is 182. Mine's a 182 dash two, which is shade two of that paint variety. I don't think it's in, even in anybody's system. So what I'm doing this morning is I am doing some paint testing. What I've got here is a load of samples behind me, you can see there. 
And what I'm doing is I've got my bass line and I'm adding four drops of black and then smearing it out onto a sample sheet. And I'm working my way down the line uh, to try and get as close as I can. Let's keep going. So here is a piece of Volvo that I've cleaned up. This one here is number one, which is the colour that came from the paint shop. Now it is kind of hard to see in this light, but it's way more red than brown. Now I've chatted to my old boy Harry, mate, who's an old school painter. He says the shade variants were generally colours working off the same chips. So basically just keep adding black. So here we are. Four drops, eight drops, 12, 16, and I've gone all the way up. I'm up to 40 drops at the moment, which is getting me closer. Still a bit too much red, so we'll see. Uh, yeah, I'll just keep cracking on. Okay, so why am I doing this? That's a very good question. I'm not a painter. I'm not a paint mixer. But I've really struggled to find anyone that will colour match this. If it's not in the computer system, the paint shop says no. I can't find anybody who still retains the skills involved in mixing colours locally. Tried a few, we ran around everywhere, been everywhere, taken, had the door off, driving around in my car to different places. Uh, the paint shop's given up, so it's basically down to me if I want this thing to look right, which is a bit of a pain, but what are you gonna do? Crack on. So here we are, cracking on. Hopefully we'll get somewhere nearby because she's stuck in limbo. And I'm carless. I'm driving the split years a daily, which is not ideal at the moment. So that's 48 drops. Right, well, I've just been told the Volvo is ready to pick up. Uh, they've nearly finished painting it, they've just got the tailgate to do. Uh, let's go get it. Well, she's back from the paint shop. Uh, it's been here a long time, to be fair. Uh, we had a lot of problems with paint as I, in that previous video. In the end, we found a company called uh, Refinishing Systems in Yeovil. Uh, they took the door and kind of matched it best they could in house. So we'll have a look in a second, see how well it came out. Uh, fair play to the, the body shop, uh, RJ Bodyworks, who uh, you know were pretty patient along doing all of this. They, they wanted it right as well as, as much as me, which is good of them uh, to get it all painted and painted right. So uh, everything's missing is the tailgate. They're just finishing that up. Let's have a little look around. Well, it's looking pretty shiny. Color wise, she's not bang bang on, but you know what I mean? It's so much better than the original uh, color match anyway. But what you will notice is, we've got no holes and no rust. Autofab obviously did all the welding, which you've seen in the previous video. But yeah, man, exciting stuff. Only problem is now, I've got to get the rest done. Rest is a bit dusty. Well, balls in my court now. There's a lot to do to this Volvo to get it where I want it to be. Uh, I was just going to put it back on the road after welding and paint, but it's taken so long to get it all sorted. I think I'm just going to crack on with the rest of the stuff. I bought another daily driver now, so this isn't needed as a daily hack. Uh, I'll do a little video on that actually. I've been meaning to, but it's just been crazy busy. Uh, so, yeah. I think this might be the last time this little uh, this little four banger is is, uh, is driven in this car. It started on the button. I haven't, obviously, I've been starting ages. It's a great little engine. 
So a quick round up on the plan. First of all, engine. Lexus LS430 3UZ strapped to a manual six speed J160 with an adapter. Uh, stainless steel headers, stainless steel exhaust. Uh, the ECU has been remapped and configured by Phoenix uh, looms. Uh, the adapter for the gearbox is Lexstream running a uh, comp clutch too. All got all the bits for that. Uh, also got shifter relocation and a few other bits and bobs. Uh, suspension wheels are done, suspension wise, uh, saving up for coilovers. Probably BK, BC Racing coilovers. Uh, yeah. So it's just going to sit in the back and be a bit of a slow burner now this winter. Uh, so yeah. Watch this space. Should we have a look at some of the parts I've got? Okay, hiding under this bench where it's been hiding very patiently for what feels like forever. There she is. There's my little 3UZ. So the loom's all been done by uh, Phoenix Engine Management. They do some cracking stuff. Check them out on Instagram and Facebook. And then next to that, I believe, is the gearbox. And then hanging up here, we've got Ali rads, stainless exhausts, round headlight conversion, some music, engine adapters, all kinds of good stuff, all to, all to come. That's it for this episode, subscribe and like, see you next time.